In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to remove duplicates in Google Sheets. Now, for the most part, during this video, I'm going to be focusing on the unique function. But before I do that, I'll quickly show you another way to remove duplicates in Google Sheets. So here in column A, we have a list of names. And in this list, there are some duplicate names. And what we want to do is remove the duplicates so that our list only shows one of each name. And so Google Sheets has a built-in way to do this. And what I'm going to do is select the data that I want to remove the duplicates from, which in this case is the range A2 through A14. Then I'm going to click Data. I'm going to scroll down. And then I'm going to click Remove Duplicates. And then I'm going to click Remove Duplicates again. And then I click OK. And so now Google Sheets has removed the duplicate names and again, we're only displaying one of each name. But now I'm going to show you how to use the unique function, which removes duplicates by using a formula. So again, here in column A, we have a list of names which contain duplicates. And in cell C2, I'm going to enter the unique function to generate a unique list of names, or in other words, a list of names that does not have any duplicates. So I'm going to do this by typing equals unique parenthesis, and now I'm going to type A2 colon A, because I want to remove the duplicates from column A starting at row 2. Now I'm going to press enter, and as you can see, the unique function has automatically removed the duplicates and generated a unique list of names. So in this example, we're going to use the unique function on two columns at once. And this is important because the unique function considers the entire row of the range that you specify when it checks whether or not it's a duplicate. And so off to the left here, in columns A through D, we have data that's related to sales of different items. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the duplicates from columns A and B to generate a list of each unique item that's being sold. Because here on the left, there are going to be duplicates because each one of these represents a different sale. But again, we want a list of one of each item. So in cell F3, I'm going to type equals unique parenthesis A3 colon B. So I'm including two columns because I want to include the product ID with the item name. Then I'm going to press enter. And now we have a condensed list where we're showing only one of each item because the duplicates have been removed. So in this case, we referred to two different columns with the unique function. But since each item will only ever have one product ID in this list, you will not see the item name duplicated. But in the next example, we're going to use an additional column and you'll see why some of these item names will be duplicated even though the duplicates will be removed from the entire range that we are considering. So here we have the same data, but now we're going to apply the unique function to columns A through C. So I'm going to type equals unique parenthesis A3 colon C. And then I'm going to press enter. So now we've included the price column in our unique function. And again, this is important because the unique function checks the whole row of the range that you specify. And so you might notice here that the word television or the item name television has appeared twice. And that's because, again, we are considering the price column as well. And now we can see that at some point, the television was sold at two different prices. And so this is why it appears twice, because the price column is different in these two entries which means that the entire row is not a duplicate. So again, when we only include the product ID and the item name, we generate a list of one of each item. But when we included the price, what we're trying to consider with the unique function in this example is each different item and each different price that those items were sold for. So if you want to learn more about how to use the unique function and remove duplicates in Google Sheets, I've linked the article for this video below.